ESG is a relatively new term that many Idahoans may be hearing about and asking what is it and how does it affect them. ESG stands for Environmental Social Governance. It is a movement to advance public policy agendas through undemocratic means. Investment managers, financial institutions, insurance companies, and rating agencies are examples of those using ESG ratings to look at non-financial or subjective criteria as they measure investment options or the credit worthiness of a company or of a state. So what do the letters in ESG refer to? The E in ESG looks at environmental factors like a company's carbon emissions, green energy initiatives, and air and water pollution. The S in ESG examines social factors and how a company treats people through their policies on things like employee, gender, and diversity, customer satisfaction, and company sexual harassment policies. The G in ESG looks at governance and how a company is run by the diversity of its board members, political contributions, executive pay, and who and what they lobby for. On the surface, these factors may look like a good thing. The problem is that they are all subjective. Who decides what is good and what is bad? I wanted to show you a couple of examples that show the impact of these ESG ratings and the impact they are having on companies and why the ratings are not as good as they seem. The first example is from November 2021, when West Virginia led a coalition of officials in 15 states, including Idaho, to act in response to the ongoing and growing economic boycotts of traditional energy production industries by U.S. financial institutions. This was in response to ESG pressures by national environmental groups driving banks, insurance companies, and investment managers to abandon fossil fuels, even though these companies have to meet all environmental laws set by public policy. The second is from Utah, where a utility company, which delivers power to approximately 25,000 customers, recently learned its longtime auto insurer wouldn't renew coverage for their fleet. The utility owns a coal burning power plant and has stakes in two others. The insurance company is phasing out business with companies that derive profits from coal. It is not hard to see how these ESG rating criteria can negatively affect Idaho and our industries. It is important that we protect our state and our businesses. You can find more information on this topic, including my work on ESG, by going to my website, sto.idaho.gov, and clicking on the red banner on the homepage.